Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Now we're going to be getting into the you know the more difficult ones or I guess not just the longer ones, okay, for computing the moment about a certain point. Alright, so like in the last video I said before we start, let's take a moment and see if we can find some shortcuts or something like that, right? Um, so right away looking at this they give us a 3 4 aka 3 4 5 triangle oops hold on a second okay. so they give us a 3 4 5 triangle here okay because this is 3 4 so this will be 5 okay so that means they're telling us that our force is pointing and uh, also, sorry, they tell, they're telling us also that our force is pointing in the x and y direction. So it's laid down on the xy plane. Okay. What else? What else? Uh, we know that our force is not in the x or in the y direction. This one, right? It's in the it's, it's in some direction in the y in the xy plane. So we have to break it down into the x component and the y component like we've done before. Okay. So let's look at um, the three, four, this three, four, five triangle that we have here. Okay. So ultimately, we're going to take the moment of the force F about point O. So exactly what we've been doing in the previous videos. Okay. So let's see which side is parallel to the y-axis. Well, it's going to be this side. Okay. So we know that our force. that our force in the y direction, okay, is going to be the 500, 3, right, this 3 over 5, okay, and it's also pointing, you know, if we had to break this down, it would point in this direction, so it would be pointing the negative y direction, and our x component is pointing the positive x, okay. That's Fy. What about Fx? Well, let's see. What side of this 3, 4, 5 triangle is parallel to the x-axis? Well, it's, it's this side. So we have our 500, the magnitude, and then times 4 over 5. All right. So now let's draw our force in Cartesian form. Okay. So F, right, is going to be, uh, let's see, 500 times 4 divided by 5. So that's, a, that's 400. That's 400 in the I direction, okay. Then minus 300 in the J, and then 0 in the K. You probably can just ignore this one, not even include it. Okay. Okay, so that's our force. Now, going back to the beginning of these videos, we said we know our moment can also be written like this R cross F. Okay. But in this problem, we're still kind of in the 2D scenario, right? So we still, we can just get away with doing. A moment like this FD okay well, let's approach it doing it you know the harder longer way just because uh, this is going to be a standard for the next few uh, problems so what's what's R so R is going to be the distance from the pivot point to where the force is being applied which is point B okay so we can just say, okay, what's the distance from O to B? Well, close your eyes, stand at O, all right, and then have someone tell you the directions to get to B. They would say, hey, walk four meters in the X direction. So you, you know, you just walk straight ahead in the X direction. So four I, okay, and that's it. You don't have to go in the J, and you don't have to jump up 
in the K direction. All right. So now let's just compute the moment. So the moment here is, let's write down our R vector, so four I, okay. And then we're gonna cross it with F, so 400 I minus 300 J. Okay. So one thing, one one piece of advice is, if you have, you know. If you have like one vector component for R and two or three for the for the force vector, then just do it like I'm doing it now. If you have three vector components for each one, I would recommend setting up your determinant, which is uh, you've probably seen it before. It's the I, J, K, and then R, R X, R Y, and we'll and we'll do this one. We'll get to this one. But for now, it's if it's something similar to this, like one component, two components here, just stick to, just stick to the way I'm doing it. Much faster. F Y and F Z. Okay. So let's do this. So just pretty much foil it, foil it out. Okay, and then you'll get better at doing this. So four times four hundred. Okay. Okay, and now look at your direction. I cross I. Okay, and I'm not gonna say anything about this yet. Now we're gonna do four times negative three hundred. Okay. Okay, and then I cross J. All right, so. I cross I, so any if you cross I with itself, it's just going to be zero. Okay, because these two are parallel to each other, so you can't take the you know sine uh, sine zero is zero. So if you go back to the definition of the the moment R F sine theta, so the theta is the angle between these two vectors. Okay. So if they're if they're zero, then that whole thing's gonna be zero. Okay. Now this just leaves us with i j i cross j, and then one little thing that I don't know who taught me this or who showed me this. And I feel like I learned this in grad school, which is kind of silly. I j k. Okay. So if you're going in this direction, it's gonna be positive. And if you're going in this direction, you're going negative. Okay, so if we do I cross J, we get K. Okay. If we do J cross K, we get positive I. If we do K cross I, we get positive J. Okay. So anytime you're crossing stuff over going towards the right, it's gonna be positive. And if you do J cross I, you're gonna get negative K. So so now I'm doing going I'm going towards the left now. So K cross J negative i j cross i negative k okay so let's apply it here i cross j i cross j okay k so that's going to be minus 1200 k all right and that is the moment about 0.0, 0. all right so I hope that made sense. I'm gonna be going over it, more, you know, a few more times as we complete these, these set of problems. All right. Hope you learned something. Later, guys.